Hi, apparently I've entered an alternate reality where electronics hobbyists don't have the skills that they once did. Now, as you know, I'm uh, hiring at the moment and I'll link in down below to the job description on that job description as part of the pretty much essential criteria I put in that you should have basic uh, skills. Like I'm talking, you know, like hobby, my intent was, you know, pretty much hobby level or student level skills in A, designing a circuit, B, laying out a board, uh, C, uh, construction, you know, basic SMD soldering, whatever it is these days, and D, testing and debugging a circuit. And there were some people who uh, came along and said, well, no, that's, well, you're Dave, you're asking way too much. You can't expect that of any hobbyist, uh, you know, uh, let alone IT skills and things like that, that I also uh, ask for basic IT skills. You can't ask that of a hobbyist or even a third or fourth year student or second year student, whatever. That's just too much. These are professional level skills. You want somebody to design a circuit, lay out a board? Oh, no, can't do that. Jeez, what world are we living in? When I was a boy, like back in the 70s and 80s, that was, it's always, to my knowledge, it's been the definition of a hobbyist, that you could uh, design a circuit, lay out a board, you could uh, construct the thing, uh, solder decently, and you could uh, test and debug that, at least to some sort of basic level. I'm not talking advanced stuff like, you know, 10 layer motherboards and with, you know, gig bits per second controlled impedance and all that sort of jazz and, you know, FFTs and DSPs and oh, goodness knows what's in. Basic microcontroller skills was something else I was after as well, you know, basic firmware. And it's always been my opinion, these are really basic hobby level skills. To call yourself an electronics hobbyist, you should be able to do these things. And these days, it should actually be much easier to do it. Because back in my time, even like 10 years ago, it was really expensive to get your own professional level boards made. Now it's five or 10 bucks and you can get a professional double-sided board made. There's all sorts of free software out there, tutorials on how to do it all. Every man, his dog's doing the damn thing. There's, you know, the teenagers running their own kit businesses and all sorts of stuff. It's just so easy these days. Laser cut stencils, people are reflowing their own BGA. Hobbyists are reflowing their own BGA chips in toaster ovens and doing really quite advanced stuff. So I think, if anything, it's probably gotten better. Now, sure, there's probably always going to be, you know, some people who call themselves an electronics hobbyist, but they can't solder to save their life, or they, you know, can't design a circuit or lay out a board to save their life. And well, that's always been the case, and it's, I'm sure, it's still the case these days. But come on, I think that uh, these are basic skills any hobby should have, and I'm not asking for too much at all. What do you reckon? Leave it in the comments down below. Am I asking too much of a hobbyist or a you know or a basic uh, you know second or third or fourth year student or whatever? So, yeah, do you agree or not? Discuss comments down below. <laughs> Catch you next time.